This teacher of the year selection process has caused me to think critically about my teaching practice and reflect on the teacher that I have become as well as the teacher that I still hope to be. This last week I began my sixth year in the Alberta Joint Elementary School District and my sixth year of teaching and I can't help but remember how it all began. I remember the day I was called for an interview. I was living in Southern California at the time and when I told them I would be flying in and coming from the airport, I didn't get the typical driving directions using street names. And I know some of you right now are thinking, where is Alberta? <laughs> Instead, I was told phrases like, make a left at the fire station, go past the post office, veer to the right when you see the two horses on the left. <laughs> if you see the large, red, the large red barn, then you've gone too far. I had no idea where I was headed or what I was getting myself into. It turns out that the Alberta School District has become the right place for me. Being a part of a teaching staff of only 15 teachers in the entire district that serves kindergarten through eighth grade students, I was able to establish myself as a leader right away. Being as small as we are, we are able to quickly execute change to meet the ever-changing needs of our students. Although I am honored to be standing up here representing my unique district, it feels odd to just have Dr. Borgard and Sydney Wasina standing up here with me. In our district, every teacher and staff member has to take on extra responsibilities so that we can provide the best possible education for our students. I wouldn't be able to do my job without the constant support of my colleagues, all of whom I consider teachers and staff members of the year. I'd like to thank those colleagues that have and district supporters who joined me tonight, our board member, Ray Lippincott, our superintendent, Dr. Mike Borgard and his wife, Greta, Lindsay, Gail, Melinda, and of course, Sydney. Oh, and my husband, Brett. Sorry, I did have that in here. <laughs> I appreciate all that you have done to help me be the teacher that I am today. Thank you.